Hi guys, it's Kat and today I am going to do a makeup transformation. As you can tell by my bright green eyes, we're going to do a really great green creature, one of my all-time favorites. Raphael, specifically from the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Today's video is sponsored by Paramount Pictures and their new digital HD release of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows and their Blu-ray combo pack. Links to all of this will be down below in the description box in the info of this video. But I am so excited to paint myself into Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crew because he is my all-time favorite turtle. I've been a huge fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series since I was a child and once they brought out this brand new movie I was so intrigued it's super cool and exciting to see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again so we're gonna try to turn ourselves into Raphael today we'll see how this goes and let's get started so for today's makeup we're gonna start off with a very clean face and a very clean body because we are gonna do a body painting today but you do not have to you can get a costume instead but I just have a tube top on so I have an area to paint on my chest and shoulders I'm putting a wig cap on to get the hair out of my face so that we could paint on it without any hassle and maybe put other accessories on our head later. Now I'm just going to double make sure that my face is totally clean by using a makeup remover because you never know. I haven't worn makeup in the past two days but there is still residue and dirt on my face. Then I'm going to fit my face for a full facial prosthetic. This is a prosthetic of a chimpanzee that goes on our entire face, but you do not need a face prosthetic to do this makeup. You can just do the same painting techniques on your actual face with the same colors that I'm using or similar ones, but I did have to cut holes on the inside of the prosthetic so that I made sure I had areas to breathe through the nose and the mouth. I'm using this monkey face prosthetic because it is very similar to Raphael and most of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles facial structures without having me create an entire turtle appliance and they did not sell any in the store. To start off with this prosthetic, I'm going to lay some prosade down. This is the adhesive that I'm going to use today to make sure that this prosthetic really glues onto my face. And then I'm going to block my eyebrows with some glue stick and layers of powder. This is going to ensure that my eyebrow hairs do not come off with the prosthetic glue of prosade that we're using today. On full facial prosthetics like this, I like to start from the top and work my way down, starting with the eyebrow area and then down the bridge of my nose. Putting Prozid also on my cheeks and my chin wherever this prosthetic reaches and maybe even a little further than the prosthetic will lay on your face. You don't want to put too much glue, but you also don't want to put barely any so it won't stick. To ensure this really sticks, I'm also putting adhesive on the inside of the areas of the prosthetic I'm gonna put on that part of my face. Using that Q-tip with Prosade again and making sure the edges of the prosthetic is glued onto my face. Now you do not have to make sure that your seams are all the way down and blended into your skin at the top of your head because we are gonna put an accessory up there later that will cover it. Now I'm just getting some liquid latex with a stipple sponge and stippling the edges of the prosthetic to make sure it blends into my skin. You can find liquid latex in any Halloween store this time of year. Like I said, prosthetic makeup isn't for everybody and it's very difficult, so you could totally skip this step and move on to the paint portion of this tutorial to do a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle makeup. It is one of the best things to have for prosthetic makeup, and I'm making sure that I'm also stippling around my eyes, but do not get any of this into your eyes, and be very, very careful. Once your liquid latex stippling is done, you want to dry it with a hair dryer before stippling on some Prosade. The same adhesive we used to apply this appliance, we're gonna stipple that all over the top of the appliance just to make sure that the makeup that we're gonna lay on it sticks very, very well. Making sure that Prosade is completely dry with the blow dryer. Now I'm gonna get some pastel yellow Pax paint. This paint is great for foam appliances, but any color paint will do. That is good to put on your skin and face if you're not using an appliance. With a disposable makeup sponge, I'm just putting this on the high points of my nose around my mouth and chin. This is almost the same color as the appliance, but it will show up later, I promise. Making sure that this makeup is completely dry before moving on to other layers of color. Next, I'm going to use a bruised yellow and a monster green. The bruised yellow is kind of like dirty mustard, and the monster green is definitely a lot like the color of moss, helping to turn this monkey face of this prosthetic into a turtle. You really want to look at pictures of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, specifically Raphael, if you're doing this makeup, especially in the painting process, so that you know what colors you're laying on to make it look like that character. 
I'm also going to switch to a black stipple sponge while painting this face because it gives great texture and there's a lot of them out there during Halloween time for sale. Stippling more green tones across my face, I'm using a lot of monster green, mixing some of it with my bruise yellow color and making sure that it doesn't go above my brow area because we are gonna put on part of Raphael's mask in that area and it will cover it so you really don't need to waste any paint there. Make sure that you get the paint in any grooves on your face or in my situation on this prosthetic. You can leave the area around your eyes bare because we're gonna use another type of makeup there later. You want to make sure this green is stippled in between the nostrils but not on top of them because he has yellow bits around his nostrils. Now I'm just getting this black stipple sponge in the color Raven. Whatever color you have that is like a cement gray, almost black tone, but not fully black, giving your turtle cheekbones and a shadow on his nose. We also want to get this raven color to do like laugh lines and we're going to do it a little wider than the actual prosthetic because the turtles have a little bit of a wider mouth than this monkey prosthetic face does. And I am going to shadow in around my mouth area on the lips because the lips are just a slightly little fuller on the turtles than this monkey face prosthetic I'm using. Shadowing in with raven on their chin area because the chin on the turtle is a little shorter. Going back in with our pastel yellow to do highlight points on our cheeks and our mouth. Powdering down our whole face with translucent powder. Again, you could do this makeup without a prosthetic and use the same similar colors and a cream paint on your face in the same areas as well on the face to make it look like a turtle. Getting that shadow paint color in Raven with the very thin paintbrush and doing the scar mark on Raphael's lip. Also painting in around his mouth and the inside of his mouth. Now it is time to move on to the body painting. One of my very favorite parts, but again, you do not need this. You could definitely have a costume on instead. Because first we're gonna start off with the yellow aqua paint. We are going to paint this on our neck, on our chest, and our shoulders. Even a little bit on our ears. Paint this area on all the front parts of your body or right above whatever shirt you're wearing. This is just gonna be a great base to put on other paints on top of it, even though right now it looks like we painted ourselves with mustard. Drying that with a hair dryer before moving on to our next layer of paint, which is going to be a green color. This color is going to go all over our neck and a little bit on our chest area and our collarbones and some on our ears. Now we're going to get some brown aqua paint and paint it on certain parts of our chest to make it look like the inside of the turtle shell on the turtle's chest and down the center of your neck on that green part we painted as well. Now I just mix some green and black cream paint to make a forest green color and stippling on with a black stipple sponge all over that green portion of our neck. Make sure you definitely have reference pictures for this because it will give you a great idea of the texture of the turtle skin. You could do some also on the yellow. We're gonna do this on areas that the turtle skin peeps through from under his shell. Getting that brown aqua paint and also painting on the shoulder pads and where the turtles have armor and equipment on their shoulders. Getting that forest green color again with the black stipple sponge and stippling on areas under those shoulder pads on the turtle skin. Getting a darker tone, more black cream paint with the black stipple sponge and stippling areas on your neck to make it look like the skin is stretched and has shadows just like most turtles have wrinkly necks and skin. Now I've just been adding shadow and dimension on the turtle's chest and shoulder pads with some brown and black aqua paint. You can use a toothbrush or whatever mascara wand brush to give the effects of scratch marks and patterns. Now just getting some matte black eyeshadow and doing outlines of these shoulder pads and the chest area turtle shell of this turtle. The inner of his turtle shell has so much detail and awesome scratches and battle wounds. Now that you think you have enough detail on your body painting and you think you look turtly enough, we are going to move on to our eyes in the areas that we didn't paint before, getting some matte green eyeshadow and shadowing in the skin on your eyelids and the bottom of your eyes as well. Then getting some matte black eyeshadow. I am shadowing in the inner corner and the outer corner of this turtle eye to make it have more character and look realistic just like Raphael and most of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And now once you think your face makeup and body makeup and our suit looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, we are going to get our red bandana that represents Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. I'm getting some green pigment to paint my forehead on the area where the hole peeps through 
on Raphael's bandana. I made this myself out of a red handkerchief by cutting holes into it and painting on it. And my head is a little bit more bigger than Raphael's in the movie, so I'm getting a black scarf because I do have a black background, so this helps. But it's going to make my head appear a little bit smaller. Just as a visual effect, you don't really need this. Then I got Raphael's awesome sunglasses. I decided to paint my hand and arm entirely green. And last but not least, Raphael needs a shell. I made my own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell completely from scratch out of a kid's snow sled and painted it like a turtle shell. Put on some straps. And once you have your shell on, you're completely done with your Raphael makeup from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. This was so much fun to do. Of course, I had to have him eating pizza. It was such a crazy but cool and fun project. I hope you guys try this at home with some green paints and make your own shell. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me turning into Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. And thank you again to our sponsor Paramount Pictures for challenging me to turn myself into Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Again, the brand new HD digital release will be down below in the description or the description info box of this video along with their Blu-ray combo pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the movie. If you guys do this makeup transformation or any of the turtle makeups, please post it on Online. I would love to see it. You can follow me on Instagram and tag me hashtag cat sketch and you can watch all the other YouTube videos of the crazy makeups I've done if you do any of those again, you guys are so talented I would love to see what you become. Thank you so much for this awesome opportunity None of this would happen if it wasn't for you guys watching and I'll see you later. Bye